The Lombards once ruled most of the Italian peninsula, but that didn't last too long. After the Pope called Charlemagne to take them down, marking an unfortunate end to Lombardy. But today, we attempt to reverse history by taking Italy, stealing Rome, and weakening Charlemagne by taking Paris for the Lombards. So as you can see, we are in 769 AD thanks to the More Bookmarks Plus mod. It's on the Steam Workshop. It is one of my favorite mods for Crusader Kings 3. It adds a bunch of new start dates and this is the earliest one which is a start date i still want paradox to add to ck3 it is easily my favorite i love just going as early as you can go but one thing that is cursed it makes me uncomfortable is blue mercia and green wessex like i don't know if i can get behind that but but that's okay you know what we have we start at least with a decent chunk of land but not exactly some weak count but not long after this in real life we would be taken down thanks to the pope calling charlemagne so we need to get powerful fast and stop that from happening my plan at least is to take all this land down here so we are gonna have to fight the roman empire which is terrifying we're gonna take all of the pope's land hopefully and eventually take Paris. But first, a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Enlisted, a free-to-play World War II multiplayer shooter with a big focus on being historically accurate while keeping you in the middle of action, with large-scale battles full of infantry and vehicles like tanks and aircrafts, and with many campaigns such as the Invasion of Normandy and Battle of Moscow, all with their own troops, vehicles, and weapons, making them all feel unique. And personally, I loved Squads Mode. This allows everyone to control their own squad in battle and fight alongside them against others and mowing down enemy squads with a flamethrower will never not be fun. Plus it's available on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5 and the previous console generation with cross-play support. So download for free today using the link in the description to get your exclusive bonus of three days premium and several orders for troops and weapons. Now we may take power before Rome because you know what Saxony are right next to them and maybe we could get an alliance with them I think that would be pretty interesting because they're fairly powerful we have done a video playing the Saxony before because I believe Charlemagne also defeated the Saxons. So maybe we could use them to our advantage in taking Paris, but it is not going to be easy. Charlemagne is no pushover. But what we have got to hope for is that these pair, the brothers, have a lot of children each. So they don't run out of ears and then transform into one giant empire, right? Because Carloman does have a son, but if both of them die, Charlemagne takes it. But if Charlemagne dies, Carlo Man also gets West Francia. So we need to hope that these say split up the whole time. Now, our first opponent is probably going to be Benevento because they're the weakest people we need to fight. You know, other than these guys, we have the Roman Empire, the Pope, and Charlemagne. So we are massively out of our depth here. So we got to get powerful and hopefully fast. Oh, well, uh, that is awkward. I didn't realize. Our one alliance we start with is, yeah, with these guys. So he can't even just jump in there and attack him straight away. I mean, you know, maybe, maybe if we just go straight for Rome, I don't know. That has literally ruined the exact plan we had. But maybe we can make maybe an alliance with Saxony. Maybe we could take Paris now. Although I don't know if we're even powerful enough for that, to be completely honest with you, because he has almost 5,000 men. But if we joint forces with, say, Saxony, how about our daughter to your son? No. Age considerations. Okay. Now, one of our daughters does actually start married to the king of Bavaria. So what we can do, if we get our opinion up just a little bit. We can negotiate an alliance with them. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to send a gift. We'll just sway. We don't need much opinion and we can get a, you know, a fairly powerful alliance right there. We are making a claim on Paris, although it's going to take like five years. So uh, that is going to be a little while away just yet. I mean, the Pope would take an alliance. I don't think I've ever had an alliance with the Pope before. Is that even 
Is that possible in the normal game? I don't think I've ever tried. We do have the diplomacy perk where we can just negotiate alliances or one at least. I've never seen you could do that with a Pope. We're definitely not going to do that. I'm hoping, yeah, somebody else comes up who's fairly strong that we can do it to right now. Nobody really wants an alliance with us, which is pretty sad. And you know what? We start with a pretty okay army. One full stack of armored footmen, some onagers. We got pikemen and some more armored footmen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to max out this second stack over here. And then we got, what, six units of armored footmen. So hopefully, when the time comes for war, that will be very, very helpful. I would really like to get an alliance with Saxony, but I... Oh, what has changed? Suddenly, he desires an alliance. Okay, let's go for it. We can definitely use them. And I think that was one of my favorite videos I ever made, was playing as Saxony fighting now uh, Charlemagne. It was just fun. I like doing like these sort of like reversing history, I guess, kind of videos. And with the more bookmarks plus mod, there's so many opportunities for it. It's insane. But we now have Saxony on our side. And if we... Oh, no. I have two alliances and now he hates me. I can demand him to be a tribute. Because, yeah, this mod does come with tributaries. So if we just... Really? Is he just going to accept that? Because I'm bigger than him. So what's the difference? Uh, temporary. They pay us income, prestige. They don't give piety. So we can call each other to war. And if he's permanent, after 20 years, we can annex them. So should we just do that? Good. All right, nice. So maybe in 20 years, we can try and annex them for free land. But if we say go to war, they're not showing up here. But hopefully... We can call them. Now, Middle Frankia is allied with the Romans, so we are not going to be bothering them, that's for sure. But I'm super happy we did at least manage to get Saxony on our side. That is going to be really, really big for us. Oh, and for some reason, all of a sudden, King Ta- Oh, there we go. He's here right there. We swayed him, and now he has 55 opinion of us, and Bavaria will also now accept an alliance. So we now have three pretty good alliances. Now, he is allied with uh, Middle Frankia, but luckily no one is still allied with Charlemagne. And there we go. Our tribute just paid 43 gold to us because, yeah, we are going ahead and maxing out the army we can hold. We are also researching mustering grounds so we can get an even bigger army, but that is still 70 years away at this point so probably won't be seeing that anytime soon okay so there we have it so we gotta pay 111 gold oh god for some reason i thought that wasn't paris then i was like do not say that but yes wait oh my um okay so technically no that is not paris uh yeah i thought something looked off then we will still pay for that claim and you know what i guess maybe at some point we'll have to go to war with middle frankia to get paris i thought something looked off i was like paris does not look like that it is right there the massive built up city but you know what even still we're gonna try and take west Frankia's capital from Charlemagne. And then maybe later on, we can also take Paris. Oh, that is awkward. But you know what? Our claims, let's go for it. We just got to make sure our allies come. Now, right now, Saxony is raiding West Frankia. So he should be up for joining us. There we go. This is going to wreck our prestige, but it's worth it. So let's go for it. We're going to call them all because this is going to be a tough fight. So we got to make sure... We are prepared now. Yeah, our best bet is probably just going by sea. And we're just going to rush his borders. You know what? Let's board over here. Oh, God. The absolute state of our attrition. Oh, this is really bad. We need to get out to sea quickly. And we're going to go through Saxony. At least then we can resupply a little bit. Because otherwise, yeah, we were about to start starving. Everything was going to be a mess. So now all our allies are there. We are da we're up 11%. What happened? So there was a battle that took place. And our allies won it for us. Huge. I say, let's just start sieging from over here. Because the last thing we want is to run through his land and lose, like, all of our troops due to attrition. We are starting to lose percent because, yeah, they have the war target. So what we're going to do... Now France are right by there. Let's go in for the fight with all our allies. If we win this, we have to go and siege the war target. Oh, God, they went past us right by there. That is terrible. But, okay, we're still winning. Okay. We just completely missed them, ran straight past them. We're up 17%. Hopefully, there's enough of us here to defend and attack. Or they leave us alone, go and unsiege that. And we can get the war target and just hold that. As long as... Oh, come on, all jump on the siege with us. We need the men. We're sieging it quite fast. We do have a full stack of onagers, so that's coming massively in help. Yeah, they're up there unsieging. That's huge for us. This may give us an opportunity now to siege this. 
and sort our supplies out. There we go, 69%, and we sieged the skull cap of Charlemagne. Okay, um, I mean, Charlemagne's still there, so that, that, that is this frightening, but okay, which I think we'll pick up later. Our alliance with Saxony just ended. What happened? Was he married to him, and he was just drowned? Right, that is... So our alliance with Saxony has ended, but they're still involved in this war, thankfully. Our allies just lost a battle up there. What we're going to do is we're going to siege this, and then we're going to march in and fight these guys down here. I think this battle decides it. So there's enough of us, surely. Come on. Yes, there we go. We do have the land sieged as well, so we are getting that defender bonus. And just like that, the Lombardy claim was successful. So enforce that, and there we go. It's not Paris. Not as exciting, but you know what? We now border Paris, so getting Paris later on will be much easier. But we have massively weakened Charlemagne, and he is facing an independence war that is massive. And thanks to us massively weakening his army, he should lose that now. So West Francia is about to shatter thanks to us. So you know what? That is a nice bit of reverse in history. A little bit of revenge, but, but the Pope wants to do a board game against us. You know what? He absolutely wiped the floor with us. Fair enough, Pope. We're still coming for you, though. Don't forget it. Boom. Look at that. So we have Franconia, Luxembourg, all independent, and Goscon down here. So West Francia are now much, much weaker than they were before. So I don't think Charlemagne will have the success he's supposed to have. I think he'll just shatter and be forgotten about by the history books at this point. Now we just got to make Lombardy nice and powerful. Still have the alliance with these guys, so they're kind of safe from us. There's not, nothing we can really do. Would like to get Paris but they are allied with Rome. And fighting both of them together at this point is pretty much impossible. And there are two main targets. So maybe now it is time to try and get a claim on Rome. Damn. So King... So, um... Charlemagne just died under mysterious circumstances. And he had... His only son was a bastard child. So Carloman, instead of Charlemagne now, has united all of this. Which uh, makes things really difficult for us. Our land is now surrounded. Paris is now going to be way, way, way tougher to take. And their alliance with the Romans still stands. What are we supposed to do? That is terrible for us. Hopefully something happens with those and they split up because that cannot stand. Now their alliance is through a marriage. None of them are that important. A 95% chance we kill the Basilius' son and that will break their alliance. I say we'd be stupid not to do that because yeah, a lot of agents have joined. His wife has joined. She wants him dead. Fair enough. So we can take him out, it looks like, with ease. It's going to take two years, but we don't have to bribe any agents or anything like that. And there we go. We can pay... 111 gold. They're so expensive because this guy is absolutely terrible. And we now have a claim on Rome. So we can declare war. We will get a devotion penalty, but I mean, that's fair enough. We are about to take over Rome from the Pope. So you know what? Let's just go for it. We massively outnumber the Pope, which is pretty rare. And I mean, he only has 164 gold. So I'm not expecting many mercenaries to help if any at all. I mean, how much are they? About 200, so we could get some, but I don't think he's going to be affording any. Now, usually in base game, siege in Rome is very slow, but I don't know how it's going to be this early on. Is it going to be a slow siege still? Yes. Now, the faction rise in, but that is not much at all. So, what level walls does Rome have? 23. This early on, our capital has uh, two. So, this is going to be an incredibly slow siege. And our murder scheme was just discovered as well. Of course it was. Nine years left. Yeah, you know what? Let's go and fight his armies first. Get some war score that way. Weaken the Pope's men. We could call our allies. Yeah, let's just call this guy next to us. He's right next to us and he may bring some siege equipment, which may help actually get through Rome. I don't think we can spend nine years sieging. What if we siege everything else quick? Maybe we can get 100% war score without needing Rome, because I'm going to try and do everything I can not to spend nine years sieging. Right now, we have a 67% chance to break the alliance between Middle Francia and Rome. Come on, please do not get discovered yet. 
it failed. So we're going to try again. See how that goes. 92%. Yes, yeah, a little bit more land to siege up here. So if we get over there fast and siege that, please. We need to do it quick as well before, you know, tick and wall scores start and we get destroyed. I don't know how long it takes. Maybe two years. And we just became infirm. So everything is starting to go wrong right now. Oh. Our ally unseaged our land for here. And just like that, we have taken Rome. So let's see. I mean, it probably still has decent control, right? No. What we are going to do... I mean, it would be stupid not to make Rome our capital. So once we're at a war, we're going to make Rome our capital, fix the control. And I mean, that should start making us some... Pretty good money. Right, 64% chance. Yep, fail again. So we're just going to keep obsessing over killing that guy. But with that peasant faction defeated, we can now make Rome our capital. We might take a little income hit for now. But once all these buildings are back up, we need to get under our domain limit. So I just give away some of our land up here. And now there we go. So that is all making money once again. It's not making much because, yeah, the control there is terrible but we are working on that and hopefully over time rome should start making us some pretty good money it's got the Colosseum, which is going to help with army gold maintenance so that's going to save us what loads of money over time okay so now we have to face a faction for somebody's claim on our kingdom and if you look um yeah pretty much all of our most powerful vassals are in this war against us so this is a tough war. They have more men than us. Luckily, we still do have that ally next to us. We can call them. And we can just call Bavaria as well as as it is a defensive war. Doesn't cost any prestige. Oh, what is this? Oh, no. To the rattling king. I have heard some disturbing news from Duke Rodgold about your misdeeds. You may call yourself Catholic, but your actions prove that you do not truly follow the path of God. As I cannot permit your wicked behavior to hide behind the mask of Catholic righteousness. I have no choice but to excommunicate you from the faith. So who is this guy? My vassal just got me excommunicated. You're dead. If we get you in prison, we are literally going to chop your head off. But let's get in there and make sure we win this because you know what? We are out for revenge. How many men? 5,000 they have. Hopefully what we got here is enough to defeat their men. We're going to march in straight away and we're back up to a 69% chance of killing this guy. Finally, I think that was the third time lucky. So that should mean, yeah, Rome and Middle Francia are no longer allied. So that does make things a lot easier for us. But let's just try and get in there and defeat these guys' army. We need to win this. Like if we lose this, we are in so much trouble. And... Was I discovered? I don't have the murderer trait, but for some reason, now the Roman Empire dynasty are starting a feud. I do not want to get in a feud, but that's how it is. That's how it is. Let's go for the emperor. They have started a feud, which worries me. We need to marry our son off right now to make sure he has some children. So let's see. We need somebody who's at least of age. And there we go. That gets us an alliance of a thousand men. So I say let's go for that because if they kill him, our inheritance is going to be awful. So let's get him married married off and hopefully he has some children before he ends up getting murdered by one of those that was not what i expected a big food with the romans <laughs> and usually with like uh faction uprisings i just aim for a white piece but i am out for revenge so we are not gonna get a white piece now what is going on due to your obvious lack of piety a condition which worries the church greatly you have gave this guy up here a claim on the kingdom of Lombardy. This is terrible. But right, enforce that. Where is this guy? You. I do not care. You are being executed. There we go. Well deserved, I think. Now, our other vassals, I'm actually going to leave them in prison, I think. Uh, you know what? Let's just ransom them off. Get the money off them all. I'm sure they'll raise up again and we can just do the same thing again and get even more money. But at least we got revenge for that unjust excommunication. Well, well we did take Rome. Maybe not so unjust, right? But... Now these guys ain't ally. Oh my god. Middle Frank is up to 9,000 men. That is tough. They may have to be our last target then. So it looks like we are going to have to leave Paris until last. But let's just hope he doesn't declare war on me for this county. Because he could. And I don't think we'll win that. So let's just focus now and get him through the Pope's land. I mean, we still have a truce for two years. We have a vassal who has a claim on this land. And there we go. We can pick up a claim on the other county of the Pope's land. So hopefully we can do both of them before we die. I mean, I'm not sure if we will. We're infirm and 68. 
and uh, the Romans may be targeting me. So that may be a problem. And that was very good timing. <laughs> like literally two seconds later, shredding this mortal coil. So uh, yeah, that was definitely definitely them what we're gonna do we're gonna carry on and hopefully we can successfully murder some of these it's not exactly what i want to be sinking my gold into but we have definitely got to get some revenge so so yeah sadly we did of course lose that claim on the pope but uh our vassal does have a claim but that may be a terrible idea let's see if one of our vassals has a big claim on this guy. No, it doesn't seem like they do. It's only 41 away from accepting vassalage. So I mean, hmm, that could be something we go for. Like if we picked up, force vassalage would be nice. We could just force it. But there's of course, true ruler, which gives us a plus 20. Yeah, you know what? Let's try and vassalize this guy. I mean, plus 20, we still need 20 more. So we can try and get our opinion up. Start swaying him in that. So that is a very big possibility. And that will save us a big war. Our murder was exposed. So that is pretty pointless. Oh God, we need to get some payback. What if we try and murder his heir? We don't have a high chance for any of these. It feels like we're just going to lose this feud. <laughs> you know, sometimes you've got to lose the feuds. But hopefully they don't kill me. Oh, so we can actually end the feud right here. For 150 prestige, we do lose it. But I think that is the best. We are not going to beat them in this feud. So I think just ending the feud is better other than us just dying, right? So we're going to stop this murder scheme and just be done with that. Okay, so we swayed him once more. His opinion is now plus 100. We swayed him three times for 74 opinion. So we don't actually even need true ruler. And he will accept low feudal obligations. So look at that so nice when you just actually have a chance to just vassalize somebody so that is nice and easy he likes me a little bit less now but you know what he loves us he's not going to be starting any problems so we can kind of forget about him now we could go for the pope that will just make us a sinner but i'm not too bothered about being a sinner so we are pushing our vassals claim for this county up here so we'll raise our men and we're gonna go straight for the war target this time. Hopefully we siege this faster than they unsiege that. No, they're going to beat us. That's so unlucky. But yeah, we should beat them in this siege. So then this war is over because we have sieged all of their land. So that leaves the Pope now with just a single county title remaining. And we've almost already got a claim on that one as well. So I don't think he's going to be around for too much longer. Ooh, and Carloman has gone ahead and created the Empire of Frankia. So, I mean, we could swear fealty, but I don't think we're going to do that. We are coming for Paris at some point. I think, yeah, he's going to be a tougher fight than the Roman Empire, which I was not expecting at all. Ooh, okay. So, Carloman died in his sleep. And now, if we look, Frankia is down to 4,200 men and his allies are his vassals. So, they are not going to be helping him. I think now is the perfect time to try and pick up that claim on Paris and successfully, hopefully, take Paris. That's going to take us two years. But of course, that is going to leave the Romans till last. But, I mean, it would be stupid not to try and take Paris now while they're this much weaker. Their power is going to go up. We are at 5,600 men. We've had three daughters. So we could look for some nice alliances around Europe. Denmark... That would be really big for us. Let's see. We have other daughters as well. What if we marry another one? And if we can try and get another alliance with Saxony. So that's two now. Nice, powerful vassals. Pretty close to West Francia who can hopefully help us. Ooh, this time it only... Oh, he died. That's why. This guy has 17 learning. So it's gone down from 111 gold to just 69. So we are going to pick that up. Our truce with the Pope still is still going on so let's start this now he's also facing a claim for middle frankia so i say let's jump in there now while he's weak oh no oh um let's try again hopefully this may be a bad idea oh god no this is an awful start to the war our men just got destroyed while they were raising we got a few more raising up here though kind of need these guys to come back it's saying we're going to win. So we're going to wait for hopefully Saxony to get a little bit closer and go in and fight them. These guys are literally traveling the entire length of Europe. I don't know why they are going so far, but let's jump in there. Saxony should follow us, but no, this guy just ran away. There we go. And now let's go jump on Paris. We do have our other men on their way as well. We're taking some attrition. 
But for now, we're just going to take it. We can always get these men back. We have loads of gold. So I am not super worried about that. Now, this siege is painfully slow. <laughs> so it might siege our entire land before we even have a chance to siege anything. Oh, no. France just beat Denmark in a battle. Come on, this siege has to end soon. It's going on for like years. I didn't realize it was going to take this long, but I've committed to it now. So we just got to hold on to it. There we go. We took France and we only gone up to 46%. But we do have ticking war score now, which is nice. So we're going to resupply. And all we have to do now is just quickly siege as much as we can. And this should be over pretty soon now. It's already been going on five years. And practically the whole time we were sieging Paris. <laughs> uh, there is a crusade going on. You know what? I don't like you, Pope. I don't care if I lose levels of devotion. I am not fighting your wars. Leave me alone. We've also been excommunicated. That is the first time ever that I've had a father and then their heir both excommunicated. That has never happened to me before. But you know what? Fine. I do not care. Like... In about three seconds, soon as this war's over, I don't think he realizes he's going to have no land left. There we go. 100% after seven years. But we have now successfully taken Paris. How is this crusade going on then? I hope you lose. Just started. Now, we're not involved in the crusade, right? So I think we can just declare war on the Pope whenever we want. Although it does seem we cannot be a sinner to start the war. And we're actually not that far away from being the next level of devotion. So pretty soon we can go ahead and take over the last land of the Pope. And I wonder what happens to him then. Because I did see we can usurp the papal state's title they come up as earlier. But if I do that, it is theocratic. So I think they'll mess up and we won't be able to play anymore. So I'm not going to do that. But pretty soon, the Pope is completely done for, which I am very excited about. And that just leaves making sure France do not take back Paris and hopefully defeating the Roman Empire. And there we go. We are no longer a sinner. So sorry about that, Pope. I mean, you did excommunicate me though. So I, I don't feel really bad, to be honest. There we go. Now, what has happened to the Pope? He's just kind of like chilling. Is he chilling in a year? Does he have land over here still? No, but he's, he's kind of just like hanging around awkwardly, I think. Yeah, he's not really doing anything. He's just like chilling in Rome now, hoping for the best. You know what? Fair enough. You can stay there. Think about what you've done. Okay, just Rome man's tear. I can't seduce her anymore. She's about to turn 45. Please give me a son. Please, please get pregnant. Oh, she just turned 45. So I think unless we get a pop up now, we are not having a son, which is really great. Oh, we could just create the empire of Italia. Yes. I didn't even realize we could do that. So we can create that. And then on inheritance, as we are now a mighty emperor, we shouldn't actually lose like direct land. Our other daughters should just become our vassals. Although I am going to want to definitely disinherit some if I can, because I do not want to deal with losing loads of land. Oh, there we go. We can just disinherit all the other ones as well. And we're still an emperor. So you know what? I'll take that. And as we are now an emperor, we can get one more stack of soldiers. And I think, you know what? Let's just have a crazy army full of armored footmen because we are still, yeah, 15 years away from mustering grounds. We are now in a learning focus. So I can pick up scientific, which will help a little bit. Okay. So it just come up then. We can create the kingdom of Sicily. Does that allow us now to push a de jure war against the Romans? No. Hmm. Okay, I was hoping that would ju just give us a freebie to quickly push a Sicily war. But I think, yeah, because we're so early in the game, we haven't picked up the innovations that allow us to do stuff like that, which is not great. There's going to be a few wars against the Romans, then it looks like. Never so great. I mean, maybe they fall apart. That would be nice. So we need to try and work out the most effective way now of kicking the Romans out of Sicily. Now, looking at Sicily, it has a bunch of claimants, but none of them are even close to wanting to come and help me, basically. Come to my court so I can push their claim. I do really, really wish this game had an option here for claimants that said, I will push your claim in the next two years or something like that. And it added like a big bonus to it because, you know... I'm sure if this guy knew I was about to take the Sicily for him, he may come along. We're different faiths than that, but, you know, there's a chance. Okay, that's not too bad. It was our second attempt, and we got a claim on the whole Duchy of Sicily. I was worried that we were going to have to try and pick up sanctioned loopholes, and seeing as we're already 54, probably not very likely, but we've got the claim, and we are actually more powerful than the Roman Empire. So, let's jump in there and take 
Sicily, I mean, you know what? Let's just call our allies. We don't need to. But we have so much prestige. Why not? If we can siege the whole war target, we'll get easy ticking war score. And then we can focus on the battles and stuff like that. Now, a lot of my vassals want lower crown authority. Uh, that's not great. I'll probably just give it to them, though, to be honest. You know, you've got to pick your battles. I can't win them all. Right now, we are facing the Roman Empire, who are making quick work of our land. There we go. So, uh, liberty demand. I guess I have no choice. We'll just go back to autonomous vassals. Okay, so we're going to go in for a fight. Hopefully defeat both their armies. And then we have to go and pick up Malta to get the full war target. 51%. We'll pick up Malta. And then finally, we'll start having some ticking war score. Well, it seems we have it anyway. So I don't know what that's about. Well, let's just go in and hope we win the battle. Come on. Yeah, there we go. No problem. 92%. And we got ticking war score. So what I'm going to do... Oh, there we are. So look at that. We have now taken Sicily. And we are going to unlock mustering grounds in two years as well. So that will be very helpful. We've got some work left to do against the Romans. So I'm just going to go ahead now and keep fighting the Romans, keep making claims, and hopefully pretty soon be done with them. Okay, so with our truce now up with the Basilius, we got the death diplomacy, whoever it's called, thing really quick. We like just finished our other war against him. As you can see, he still hasn't had time to recover, but he has this one county left to complete what we need to do. And we are so going to jump into it. And once again, um, there's a crusade, which I'm going to refuse. And maybe we can get three rulers in a row excommunicate because, yeah, sadly, this guy did die. So we have just been constantly at war with the Roman Empire. But this time, this is going to be our last offensive war against them. And yeah, we did unlock mustering ground. So our army is even bigger than it was before. So yeah, we're just going to raise all and just jump on the war target and siege it as fast as possible. Uh, but uh, yeah, I am not getting involved. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, we are down 46%. Uh, our men are completely starving. And we still have not got through this siege. Things are not looking great. He just left with his armies, though, uh, to another war, I guess, maybe. But yeah, th <laughs> this war is not going good so far. Please don't fail now. Although we're pretty close. Five months left. Did we get it? Yeah, we did get it. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just siege around it. Get the full war target. We've got the worst one out of the way. We are starving. But you know what? That's nothing some mercenaries can't fix. You know, that's why we paid for the men. To die for us. You know, they're not dying for us. They're not doing their jobs. So let's get this over and done with. Hopefully quick. There we go. So enforce that. That took six years. Just like the Paris one. Just because it was such a slow and painful siege. But I am happy enough to say we reversed history. You know, the Pope didn't get an opportunity to call Charlemagne to wipe us off the face of the earth, right? And Lombardy may not be the biggest, but, you know, ignoring them. We are easily the most powerful people in Europe, without a doubt. And I guess the Roman Empire close to us as well. They're nowhere near our power. Of course, the Abbasi Empire is ridiculously powerful, but I don't really feel like we have to worry about them. And don't forget to download Enlisted for free on PC, Xbox Series X and S, or PlayStation 5 using the link in the description to claim your exclusive bonus. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. And I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to the channel members such as Zihamas. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.